everyone, welcome back to Mom's Books and today I have an exciting video because it's a book outlet book haul. So I did a little bit of um, exploring on book outlet on the Mother's Day weekend I think. That's when they're having their like 30% off sale to 50% off I think it was. So I had a little bit of fun. As you can tell I ordered nine books but I also have like 10 other books I need to show you from April and I bought books before I got this so big book haul day. So the only books that I got in April were actually birthday gifts and I actually showed you these in one of my April favorites video but but I got Assassin's Blade and Air of Fire. I know you may think hey Kirsty, you already own these. Guess what? These are signed. They are lovely signed by Sarah J Moss. Oh, look at that. They're signed. They're so pretty too. And they're in this like protective sleeve like you would get at the library. So they stay nice and they're very nice. And I like to thank the friend that got me these. So Sarah J Moss books, cool, right? But that's not the only Sarah J Moss book I bought. On May 5th, her book, A Court of Thorns and Roses came out. And I actually already read this and reviewed it. And you may click the book and check it out. It was really good. I gave it five out of five stars. Sarah J Moss is one of my favorite authors. So anything she writes, I literally want to buy. So after my little fun non-buying books in April, I went to Barnes and Nobles and I got about five books uh, about a few days literally after I bought that book outlet order. But I picked up the Darkest Side of the Forest by Holly Black. I just finished reading this book today and there's going to be a review on Friday so you'll get my thoughts in two days. But this book was really really good and you'll find out why I enjoyed it so much on Friday's video. And then I picked up the very much anticipated An Ember in the Ashes by Sabarha Tahir. I think that's pretty much how you say her name. I've watched a lot of videos on people talking about her. And I picked this up because it was new and I know it's already fantastic based on like art reviews and there's already like a movie in the works for this book I think. And so yeah, I just I really wanted to pick this up. I've already heard people talking about it that they've already got their hands on it from like book release afterwards and they've heard it's already fantastic and this is probably the next book I'm actually going to read. And then I splurged and I got some graphic novels. The first one I got was the second Sex Criminals graphic novel. I read the first one uh, in April I think and I really really enjoyed it and I wanted to pick up the second one and so when I was at Barnes and Nobles I was like hey I should get the second one and I did so and then while I was there I also saw that the Barnes and Nobles I was at currently had like a lot of graphic novels and I was super excited about that but I actually ended up picking up instead of like other graphic novels I was looking at I picked up Saga Volume 3 and Volume 4 so I can finish the books that are already out okay got the scissors time to open up this book outlet box Oof. okay it's kind of hard standing up if you don't already know the beauty of opening box while you're standing. It's not a great idea. I would not highly recommend it because it's a bad idea. But let's... Wow. Look! It's brown paper! You don't know what I got! It's so exciting! Okay, let's get into this. Put it on the ground. Alright, so the first book that I picked up was Ting Angst Na by Ned Vizini. I'm not really sure how to say his name, but he was like this really great author. He actually passed away, I think, last year. It was author of that one movie slash book that came out that everyone really enjoyed. And I can't remember the name of it right now because I'm blinking, but this is his autobiography actually. And he wrote it when he was a teenager and so it actually covers a lot of teenager angst, hence the name, and he wrote it while he was a teenager. So it's going to actually be relatable and I can't wait to read it. So the next book I actually picked up was The Rosie Project by Grameen Simpson. I'm, or Simpson uh, I don't know how to say your name. I'm really sorry. I'm super bad with names. I actually picked this up because Reagan actually really really enjoyed this book and she picked it up a little while ago and I just I sounded really interesting and I wanted to read it. I actually I really like this cover. I think it's really gorgeous. The paperback didn't actually catch my eye. I actually really liked this hardcover and even the eye has a little atom and it's really cute and I can't wait to read it because it sounds really interesting and it sounds like a really great kind of contemporary read to read for the summer. Alright so on that contemporary kick that I'm actually 
not reading, but I really like to read contemporary books in the summer and I'm actually not even reading any, but that is Troubled by Non Pratt. I picked this up because it sounded really interesting and the cover is actually really gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of the same kind of art style of like A Catcher in the Rye, sort of. It looks kind of like that. But this book sounded really interesting. It's about like this girl who actually ends up pregnant and a lot of people are judging her for it, but the brand new kid that came in like takes the spot of the person who got her pregnant and is like saying that he got her pregnant. Rose like a really great friendship and it just it sounded really interesting and like the synopsis mostly caught my eye and I thought it would be a good read to pick up so I got it and it was cheap. A series I've been meaning to finish is actually the Lux series. I haven't finished the fourth and fifth book I think so I picked up the last book in the series and it's a cover change obviously because everyone knows that and I kind of wanted to get the um, cover change that actually matched the other ones because it bothers me. It does. But I really like this cover. I think it's very shiny. And I can't wait to finish up the series finally because I absolutely adore Jennifer Lamar Trout, but I just, I haven't gotten around to finishing the Lux series yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, another contemporary. Shocker there, but I picked up, but I picked up The Pole of Gravity by Gay Polish Polizinier. Oh my god. But this is actually a signed copy. I thought if I really enjoyed it, then I would at least have a signed copy. The main character's friends actually dying from a disease and they have like this last quest to go on and it sounded really interesting and I wanted to pick it up. It had decent reviews on Goodreads so I don't know, I'm not expecting a whole bunch out of it but it just, it sounded good. I think it was like a dollar something so you know, an autographed copy that's a dollar and it's decent. I mean, I don't know. So I actually picked up the second and third book of the Collector series by Victoria Scott. I haven't read it yet but Victoria Scott is like one of my favorite authors and she's like super sweet and so I picked up the second and the third book, but I need to pick up the first book, obviously, to read it. But the second book is actually autographed, which is awesome because I love Victoria Scott. Oh, autographed. A lot of autographed books in this book haul, am I right? So the next book I picked up is actually the second book in a trilogy, and that is Natural Born Angel by Scott Spear. I read the first book in like 2011, and I think this came out in like 2013. And I actually haven't finished it. I actually don't remember what happened, so I really need to like reread the first one, the second one. And the third one came out last year, and so I'm probably going to just marathon this series at one point when I'm like in a mood of angels. So the last book I actually picked up is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. I read her Dreamless series, I think it's what it's called. And I really liked her writing and I thought it was really good and I wanted to read this new book that she came out because it sounded really interesting by the synopsis. And so yeah, I just wanted to see what this one was all about and I think it's a brand new series of hers and it sounds good. And so yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this one actually and this will probably be somewhat maybe at the end of May I'll read this or maybe in June I'll read this but it sounded really interesting and I'm actually really, this is like the one book from Book Outlet that I'm like really excited to read. It sounded really good. I bought a lot of books. Let's see how many. 17 books. That's a lot. Let's let's get a little panning of this. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not gonna pick those up at all. I already got my thumbnail with the box, so don't worry about it. But <laughs> those are there and I bought them. If you liked, please leave a comment below and let me know if there's any of these books that you read and that you enjoyed them because I'd love to hear from you. And if you like, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out by knowing you actually enjoyed the content I create. And if you want to, you can subscribe because I bring out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!